Okay, so hi, my name is Mayana, and this is my sister Jada. And today we are going to be doing something new I want to bring to my channel called My Sister Reviews because she refuses to make a booktube channel, <laughs> and this is the only way I can get her to film. So she's going to be reviewing. Oh, we're the ants. <laughs> um, this book. <laughs> I think Coolsville sucks. This book is about. This is about to be so well and so bad. Um, this book is about a boy in high school who gets abducted by aliens. I can't remember. I think he had been younger when he first got abducted. But anyway, he keeps getting like abducted by aliens. And they basically gave him this option to end the world. And he's been going through a lot. He's depressed. His family is in shambles. Um, his boyfriend committed suicide. He's just been going through so much. So, okay, I don't remember but it's either either way something about a button they give him the option to let the world in pretty sure you're not supposed to press the button you know obviously he's gone through a lot so he's like well maybe i shouldn't press that button because and it started off pretty good i think i liked the writing a lot i liked how fast paced it felt and it was it had a lot of dark humor and i love dark humor and yeah so i liked that at first but then I got about literally halfway through it and I was like, I don't like this book. So one of the main reasons was Tell I- Tell them the rating you gave it. I gave this book three out of five stars. One of the main reasons I didn't like this book was simply because the lack of aliens. So the aliens were mentioned in the beginning of the story when he was younger and he got abducted. And then they weren't, they were mentioned after like the, the whole like premise of him deciding whether the world should end or not and then maybe they abducted him one or two more times after that but that was about it so I'm thinking I grabbed this book solely because aliens I'm like okay cool we're gonna get to know some aliens no I was wrong so I mean maybe the aliens were supposed to be like a metaphor of some sort mm -hmm. it got <laughs> the book got to be extremely <laughs> It got to be extremely repetitive and I can't remember why because I read this so many months ago and my aunt literally kept saying you're gonna film a video on my channel so excuse me if I sound dumb and don't remember anything and you actually like this book I'm sorry because I don't know what I'm talking about anymore but I do remember it being extremely repetitive and in what way I don't know just read it and you see it then you see it if you don't um the bullying to me personally was extreme and unrealistic it started off as like it made sense at first but then it just got kind of like really really dark and it didn't really match the tone of the book if that makes sense like it was just almost like they were trying to kill him and it was just it was kind of ridiculous and it was kind of like no one cared and which just it seemed unrealistic like i know that's often where you, you can go for help and no one will care but it's not like that ever happened it was like teachers knew this stuff was happening and they literally didn't care as much everyone in this book was a butthole his brother his mom um his grandma was cool um diego was cool i think that was his name diego the love interest uh i said there wasn't it wasn't a full ending oh i guess the aliens never came back i think i'm pretty sure he got with diego but like it just didn't feel like justice was really served as far as like the bullying and then it just went right into this 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 book being his report this whole thing is supposed to be a report that's what's his that's this was his extra credit assignment and that is what he hates me the most why is this 400 and something page book an extra credit assignment now i know it's fictional whatever but that was really bothering me because who in their right mind would sit here and read something like this for some extra credit no mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. no because that just doesn't make sense to me so that yes that irritated me because that didn't make sense at all but i mean hey if you did like this book that's what's up i think everybody just has differences this was my difference I... keep it you can keep it <laughs> i haven't read this book so i want to ask questions but i don't know what kind of questions to ask since i haven't read the book so who was your favorite character diego who was your least favorite character i don't remember 
<laughs> Probably the, the freaking main bully who was supposed to be like his little fling and then he just started acting creepy and just doing the most and being gross. If you were writing this book, what would you have written? Wrote. <laughs> wrote. <in. laughs> um, I feel like there would have been more aliens. That's why I grabbed this book. I'm like, there's aliens and he, this is basically a coming of age story. I'm going to see how he deals with deals with this stuff. I'm going to feel his pain. Okay, cool. But also, I'm thinking these aliens were just going to show up more. Why were there barely any aliens? Did I miss something? Were the aliens just supposed to be a metaphor? I don't know. I don't know. But I definitely would have added more aliens. There would have been... The tone would have been steady. Don't know how to explain that, but it definitely would have been a steadier tone. It wouldn't have got... I mean, it's okay for a book to be dark, but it just... It didn't match to me. It didn't match. Some points it would be, like, dark. Some points it would be, like, really happy. And then, like, dark. Mm -hmm. Or, like, it started off pretty, like not too dark but like okay and then it yeah, started it to get extremely dark yeah and then it was just i was like oh okay would you ever read another one of his books yeah i'm more than happy to give another author a second hand we should do a video where we talk about horror movies i'm down for that we can do that right now we we're filming like 80 videos but you know and what we're gonna do content. it yes content anyway so uh you get in the frame can you have not put the shower over here could you get in the frame a minute now. T. <laughs> and he was. It reminds me of. Okay, remember in All Chillers Die? Uh, the guy was like chasing after them. And then. He, he, it just got really dark. And so it, it was like that? Yeah. Ooh. It was gross. Uh, most weird. Also, you should watch All Chillers Die. I'm pretty sure it's still on Netflix. It's a pretty good movie. I mean, it's, it's trash. It's sure. trash, but like, it's like a what is it? What is it called? B horror movie? Is that what you're trying to say? I feel like also I used the wrong term, so ignore that. <laughs> it's kind of like what what detention is, where it kind of like it plays on a lot of other. It's like basically like scary movie, but like they they took it more serious than what scary movie would have took taken it, uh -huh. if that makes sense. So I don't know what the word is. Y'all get it? Don't take it serious. There you go. The movie, not the book. Not the book. <laughs> I'm take the book series. I didn't. So wow. Every night fucks every day. Every day patches the Oh god, you should match it, it's that kill. No one lighters till I fuck my twenty eight.